Certainly there is some precedence there. We had the evacuees from Wuhan and off the Diamond Princess cruise ship, uh, but there would be a, a lot of work to be undertaken if we were to see uh, international flights arriving into the Northern Territory. Uh, as I said, it's always the health and safety of Territorians that comes first, but the Northern Territory is certainly open to that. Do you think there's a risk um, with less of a police presence here that people are more likely to lie on their forms because they don't feel as intimidated? Oh, I think that uh, these documents are legal documents. If you si uh, sign them, then uh, you are saying that that is true. And if you lie, uh, there is uh, huge penalties, fines and up to imprisonment. Uh, we still do have a police presence just because the Australian Federal Police uh, have withdrawn those initial services that were provided. This is an important health announcement related to COVID-19, known as coronavirus. To lower your chances of being infected with or transmitting coronavirus, Please frequently clean your hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand wipes. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing. And where possible, maintain social distancing and if you're feeling unwell, please seek medical advice. Thanks for using Darwin International Airport. And there is working um, on the front line with our health staff is Northern Territory Police. So there is certainly a police presence, uh, but the system is being run by those um, border control officials from health. How close, how full is Howard Springs and how much room is there at that facility to take more people? So Howard Springs has the ability to care for up to 3,000 people in a quarantine situation. Uh, I think today we will hit 1,000 people uh, in the facility out at Howard Springs. I understand that there is a flight later today from Melbourne uh, and we've seen an increased capacity on those flights. Uh, so we're certainly very conscious of that, but we have the capacity uh, to care for people to undertake that important mandatory quarantine. Uh, we will see, uh, hopefully on October the 9th, that Sydney hotspot being released, which will ease some pressure. But it is something that we're conscious of as we see uh, more flights coming into the Territory and more people choosing to undertake that quarantine. We need to manage our facilities and the numbers within them. So there's potential for, say, 2,000 international Australian, Australians who are trapped overseas at the moment. It's not as simple as saying that we've got space for 2,000 more people. It's very complex. We need to keep people in different cohorts within that facility. If we are to see um, people coming from a higher risk overseas country where there is uh, a higher spread of coronavirus, all of that would have to be taken into account. But there is certainly the room at that facility. Uh, it's a huge facility, as we know, and, and used to cater for many thousands of people in a mining work camp situation. In a quarantine facility, you would need to uh, allocate spaces differently, but there's certainly... Uh, room at that facility uh, going forward. It could fill up once the, uh, people from Sydney do start travelling in and if it did, what other measures are in place? So, uh, with the changes coming from Sydney that it would no longer be declared a hotspot, people wouldn't need to mandatory quarantine coming in from Sydney, so that would relieve a little bit of pressure in terms of uh, it would be taking uh, those people out of the facility. Uh, but going forward, we, as we saw with Brisbane, it was declared a hotspot and then it was removed, and that is the hotspot policy. AHPPC are looking at how we can open up Australia a little more to each other, but keeping ourselves safe from coronavirus with those defined geographical areas of a hotspot being called. Are there any other facilities that could be looked at um, as potential quarantine facilities like we can point, for example? There's certainly different facilities. People have talked about hotels, which are sadly empty because we've seen a decline in tourism. But it is very complex, and we saw that out of Victoria in terms of uh, running a quarantine facility. It has to be very carefully managed. Uh, and the Howard Springs facility, because it is open air, there's no lifts, there's no uh, narrow corridors, it has proved to be ideal in this situation. But we would certainly seek the advice of our health professionals before we would put our hand up for further facilities. Uh, and we, of course, would continue these discussions with the Commonwealth Government. Oh, I just answered this already, but last are you putting up the price for um, the quarantine stay? And if so, how much is that going to be? So presently people coming into the Territory that undertake mandatory quarantine are charged $2,500. There is a reduced fee for low-income earners uh, that can be prescribed. The Chief Minister acknowledged last week that that $2,500 fee doesn't cover all the Northern Territory's costs, but at the same time we need to remember that it's in place uh, to keep the Territory and keep Territorians safe from coronavirus. Darwin 